Welcome to the 15th episode of Gary's English Learning Center. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. been such a long time. It has, yeah. Well, we, we, you've been so busy. I've been quite busy myself. Not exactly, because、um, to tell you the truth, I've been to Gary's home a couple of days before. That's right.、Yeah. That's last week, yeah, to yeah, be exact.、Nice、yeah, trip, yeah, yeah. And what we, were we doing? Well, we went to we went to plant some trees, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, plant some native trees. Yeah, you know, on a, my brother's tree project in in Moiwo, which was quite a strange experience for me because I'm an urban person and I have never done anything like this, this before. No, I couldn't believe you said you've never been hiking. Even. No, 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 no. But the first thing is that I never planted a tree before that. But I must say, you did really well. I mean, considering that, you would never have known、yeah. that you had never done that kind of thing before. Yeah. My question is,、um, will I be able to find those trees in ten years? Ten <laughs> <laughs> years from now, I mean, it might be difficult because all those trees would have grown up by then.、So、yeah, it be, yeah, it yeah. Quite difficult. Yeah. Because there is.、Um, A Chinese idiom,、mm. which says,、um, "To plant a tree, you need ten years.、Mm. To plant a person, you need a hundred years." I've heard that one. Yeah, you heard that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary's、uh, Ch- Chinese is、um, very good. <laughs> well, I've, yeah, I've been around. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So,、uh, what would you have、uh, for our、uh, viewers today? The viewers today. So, in, in the last program, which is a while ago,、uh, we asked the viewers.、Um, we had a bit of technical trouble with that program.、Mm. Um, what they would like in the future? Because I'm not quite sure what you really like, and you know, what kind of level I, I should be pitching the program at, really. So,、uh, give you some samples, really. So, we can start today by doing some topics.、Mm. Then we'll have some、um, songs. And some situations, language to use in different situations,、mm. some idioms,、yeah. some phrasal verbs, and vocabulary enhancement or improving the vocabulary really, and syntax, which is the word order.、Yeah. So we, we, this show today,、uh, I've chosen what I think is a fundamental topic, really, very important. How fundamental? It's essential, you know, because、yeah. it's about health. Health,、oh, health. Okay, okay. Nothing, you know, health, wealth, and happiness. Yeah. Health is number one, really. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. 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 Without health, um, what is the use of your wealth? Yeah. But, and and zero health is <laughs> yeah. death. Yeah. So, <laughs> it, it is fundamental. Yeah. So essential, really. What will be your advice or suggestions for our viewers to improve our health? Well, it is you know is um <clears throat> is my major like your major is English literature. My major actually is nutrition. Yeah. So I thought I'd like to share my knowledge here. Um, we we got to, when we go to the PowerPoint I made up really to、yeah. guide us really. Yeah. Because well I you know I've really done this really because I have lots of、um, friends and family who've been affected by all kinds of things like、um, immune deficiency syndromes and、mm. and cancer. Yeah. Relatives who died of cancer. You know,、yeah. not much older than I am. You know. Yeah. 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 And they try to look after their health, and you know,、yeah. and colleagues and friends, you know, are suffering. You know, I mean, so it it is so sad that、uh, in our age, you will find people around you suffering from disease or、yeah. things that they, I mean, anxiety and things like that. Well, that that yeah, and, the anxiety and stress, yeah, and they go yeah. away one by one. That's right. Yeah, the anxiety yeah. and stress is definitely、yeah. not good.、Yeah. I、There's、mean, also, pass away one by one. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And and before、yeah. their time. Yeah. And and before they actually pass away, they're in pain. You know, they're suffering. And tong fu, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, tong fu. Yeah, their yeah. lives. You know. Yeah. So, but there's usually a reason for these things. There's,、mm. you know,、um, there is the stress. But we could come to that another time. But I'm、um, going with the diet really, and the the things that are in our environment,、mm. and、uh, point out how serious they are, but also give alternatives. Yeah. Because I don't want people to be like、uh, Pavlov's dog. Yeah, you know Pavlov's dog, where he, where he had the dog in, he put the dinner in one corner and gave electric shock, another corner electric shock, another、yeah. corner electric shock. In the end, it was just like, oh, I didn't know what to do in the middle of the room. Yeah, you know that the, the the content of this program is getting more and more difficult. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah.、I'm、trying to keep the level down. Sorry. Okay. So let's follow the PowerPoint because I made the PowerPoint sure, simple. Sure. 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 Okay. This is the next one, Eddie. Yeah. Okay. What will be the next one? And、uh, the next one is、uh, tell me the it's natural lifestyle. Natural lifestyle. This one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now you have to do a bit of、mm-hmm. explanation about this word. It is so important in the modern society. Natural and non, which is、Tox- not, of course, toxic. Yeah. Which means poison. poison. The, the other way of English, the simple English, the 
It's poison, really. Yeah. Toxic means poison. Mm. So this is a lifestyle, recommended lifestyle for removing the poison from your lifestyle, which will make a big difference. Yeah. It'll make you feel a big difference. Okay. Then we go to um, things that in... Yeah, so we're going to cover today. Yeah, we're going to yeah, cover. Yeah. Right. What, what kind of things that will have um, poison for us? Water. Yep. Toothpaste. Food. Body care. And household cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the, in your basic... Now, the first one is about water. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, quite a um, critical thing in Hong Kong, but not too many people actually realize that. Mm. The last time when I went to Mui War, mm. and you told me that um, the bay was not that good. Right, yeah, that's right. And I don't think uh, too many people in Hong Kong re know the reason why it is not so good. No, it's not just the E. coli, yeah. it's all the heavy metals and all the other kinds of... Chemical, the, the chemicals. Chemical, as well, yeah, the chemicals as well, the pollutants that are coming down the Pearl River Delta. Yeah. And when I first arrived, and I arrived in... in uh, Boy, oh, I used to live uh, for, for the first 12 years. The sea was beautiful. It's so clean. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But after about 10 years, you, you got out of the swimming pool, you got out of the sea, and you got all sticky all over. No. Just the feeling was bad. I, I, I wouldn't go to the, to the, to the, to the, to, to the swim in, mm. in that kind of water. I mean, uh, I was taken by surprise when I was told about this because I always thought that, uh, the base in, 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 I mean, the beaches in, 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 in Mui War or Lantau Island mm. were still so good. They, they used good to for be. Swimming. They good used for to swimming, be. but they are not anymore. They used to be, but in, just in this last two decades, it's yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, um, of course, the, the first thing is that uh, you have to avoid swimming in that kind of, uh, mm. um, Poisonous water. There's not many beaches left yeah, in Hong Kong it which would are clean. affect your skin. Well, you, you absorb poison more readily through your skin than you do even by eating it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, even by eating it, yeah, it's more readily absorbed. It yeah. bypasses the the, the the gut and the intestinal tract. Yeah, where you have some def some kind of defense. The second point is even more critical. It is about the water that we drink. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get onto today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, there's no guarantee that um, the, the 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 water the of course, the source of our water is from the Pearl, from, 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 from the mainland. Mm -hmm. And, uh, actually, if you go to the places around that, the, 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 the water source, they were all polluted and very, I can, I can tell you very, very dirty mm. by, uh, at least on, 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 on appearance. Mm. But actually, if you try to analyze the, 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 the elements and the components inside water, you will be scared. <laughs> you will be frightened. Yeah, you will, <laughs> you will be scared. I, researching for this program, I didn't realize how, quite how bad it was, to be honest. Like 80% maybe, but then yeah. that extra 20%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first thing about, um, the water is that, um, we will, um, of course, you, every, every one of us uh, will eat vegetables. Mm. And all these vegetables come from the, many, many, m most of them come, come from mm. the, uh, Pearl Delta region. Mm. And they were, I, I can, I, I can also tell you, they are, um, heavily infected with, um, heavy metal. Yeah. And then it becomes systemic is, which means it's inside, in, inside, inside the plant. The, in, inside the plant. Inside so the plant. When you eat the, 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 the vegetables, uh, the chemicals and the heavy metal will go into your and system. You can't, you can't wash it off. That's the no, point. That's no, the point. You no, can't. Okay, you, no. And the first, second one is, uh, as a surprise because, um, every day uh, we have to brush our teeth mm. and then we, of course, we use toothpaste. And if you check the <laughs> ingredients in, in the, mm. in the, in, in, on, on the label, then you'll find everyone will contain fluoride. Mm. So would you mind to explain? What well, if you, if you, should we go down, you know, because I've got yeah, kind of, yeah. a bit of a structure here. Really. So I've got the water. <laughs> go, like too far, saying, go too fast. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Water. Hong Thai fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, then the tap water. See, the Hong Kong's tap water uh, it contains excessive amount of heavy metals and inorganic compounds, that's metals, due to the pipes, that is. But before, before it gets to the pipe, they've been treated with chlorine. And chlorine reacts with organic compounds and they form these THMs, which are cancerous. Yeah. So there's cancer in the water, really, basically. Well, one question about why do they have to put in the chlorine into them? Well, that's to stop the bacteria growing. Oh. Right. Some kind of um, anti-bacterial uh, yeah, right, yeah. chemical. Okay. But in doing that, this chlorine reacts with, with the organic compounds that are there and forms these things called THMs, which are cancerous. Try, try hello methanes, you know. Oh, very so, difficult work. Yeah, so basically they cause cancer. And there's also there's, um, because when you swim in a swimming pool, which I do, you know, um, 
there's chlorine in the swimming pool, and that that also um, affects your affects your testosterone now, actually. Um, yeah, or so many difficult word difficult mm. words. Would you mind to 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 read all of them so that I I know the how to how to pronounce them? Right. Studies in adolescents, that's uh, kind of teenagers really, have shown an inverse relationship. So it's, it, the proportion is opposite kind of thing. Yeah. Um, between serum testosterone is the male hormone. Testo- testosterone. Testosterone. Is the male hormone. Yeah. Only you and me got them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's becoming less, you know. That's why, because of, because of all this, these chemicals around. And the amount of time spent in a public swimming pool. So yeah. it has an effect on your, on your, on your testosterone level. So what I, what I do is use bamboo soap to, after I've been swimming. And that what, what is that? Bamboo soap. Bamboo. Bamboo. Soap. bamboo. bamboo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Where where can you find them? Find this soap? Um, in in sort of health food shops. I'm not health food. I mean, you know, health 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 store. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then so that's that's tap water. You know, is is so like a lot of people. I I I, I stopped using the tap water and then had the plastic, the plastic bottles of water. Because yeah, I had yeah, to, I had to go yeah. teaching everywhere, so I had yeah, to have yeah, some water, yeah, yeah, you know. And we were told by the food pyramid we needed eight glasses a day, yeah, yeah. so I went to the plastic. But then you go to the plastic, yeah. and you find out the main thing about plastic is the bisphenol A. And maybe some people have heard about that out yeah. there, you know. But I see so many people drinking from it. I think, come on, and that causes it's called endocrine disruption. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which means that your hormones are imbalanced again. Well, now, now my question is, um, if you try to avoid um, drinking from this um, plastic um, mm-hmm. vessels, what else? Your, what, what, what is your choice? I mean, you gotta. That's right. So maybe go down here. The endocrine it, it, it produces estrogen, actually, the, the female hormone, yeah. which is not good if you're a man. Yeah. And even if you're a girl, there's seventy percent of women in Hong Kong have a, a growth in their uterus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seventy percent. Seventy percent is it's a really big problem. Yeah, and this is one of the causes, one of the main causes. Yeah. You know, so that's the idea of this program. And so we go down. You know, no, no, no. You have to right. explain. To explain. The U.S. National Toxicology Program, so that's the studying of poison, really. Yeah. NTP concluded that there is some concern for adverse, that's bad effects, on the brain, the behavior, and the prostate. That's the male gland, you know, below the penis kind of thing. Mm. In fetuses, that's yeah. um, unborn babies, um, infants. infants, and children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As with all these you things, you will be so scared if you know the truth. Yeah. So, but I didn't want, and also you find this in um, <laughs> lunch boxes. We got a we got a lot here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lunch boxes, you know, uh, and the next one. Yeah. Um, is the the styrofoam containers okay, yeah. that, that people have for. For, 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 for food, you see it everywhere in Hong yeah. Kong. And the next one, so there's a lovely, lovely char siu. Actually, the but, whole thing is very toxic. Yeah, but but it's in packaging the toxic, and this stuff dissolves. This plastic dissolves. You yeah, know? yeah. And I can't even from a taste point of view, I can't understand it. Mm. We wouldn't drink or eat from plastic because of the taste. No, back no, in sure, the 60s, sure, sure, you know? sure, surely not. So and here what? we go. And all these cans, they're, they're either coated with plastic or, or you're going to get aluminium poisoning. Yeah. So, you know. You've got to hit one here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, and here's the one. Coconut milk. Mm. Soap. Yep. Meat, vegetables, meals, juice, fish, beans, meal replacement drinks, fruit. Yep. So avoid BPA because they're bisphenol um, A because of um, it, the cans are coated in the plastic that's why you mean that um, inside of yeah. this um, can yeah they're coated in the plastic and I've also heard in a lot of beer cans yeah, now as yeah, well yeah, actually yeah. so well why do drinks. they put this thing on the oh, that's a good question <laughs> 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 yeah and it's also in pipes you know it, it ends up in the landfill and leaches into the soil as you were saying you know in Guangzhou you know, yeah 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 in, yeah. Guangdong, sorry, yeah. yeah, you know, and even in receipts. <laughs> but so, what, what can we? What can what, we even what, in your receipts? Oh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> what what can we do? What so, we um, we have an expression in English: prevention is it's better than cure. You. Yeah. yeah. So, so like you're saying, so what I do is I got a at home. I got a water filter. 
Water filter. No, this is this is the, the cut this is the cartridge for it. I have a water filter. Yeah. And this is what it looks like, the water filter. It's quite simple. It costs about a thousand dollars or something like that. Yeah. But you get the money back, you know, in a few months. Mm. The savings from the plastic bottles oh, well, for now, one thing. Well, how 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 does it function? I mean, you put in the the water and mm. then it will fill the No, the, the water just goes through here and just goes through this filter. Yeah. You have a little, uh, a little tap to turn. Yeah. And when you want to you use the filtered water, then you just turn it and it just comes through here filtered. Yeah. So that's good. And then you can put that water in one of these in a steel flask. Yeah. It should flask. Be flask. Yeah. It should be as steel as possible. But even this one has the cap is a little bit plastic, but that's the best you can do. Mm. You know, but otherwise than that, this is, it's, it's steel, you know. And that won't poison you, you know. And um, you can um, you can you can use glass. Yeah. Use glass. Okay. Glass. Buy 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 things in glass rather than in, in plastic. Mm. And um, and you can drink from China. Of course. Yeah. Of course. This is the next course. slide there. You drink from China. Of <laughs> Yeah, that's what we call we call a ceramic ware China yeah. in English China because it, because it it came from China. You came from China, yeah. Fresh yeah. food, fresh food, and and of course you you use um lunchbox, sure, sure, and steel lunchbox. Yeah. Now, what about toothpaste? Toothpaste, yeah, toothpaste is a thing. As you were saying, we got next. As you were saying, there's um fluoridated toothpaste. Mm. And fluoride is a, is a, is a, I'll come on to that. I've got some slides about that. It's a very serious brain poison. Yeah. Very serious. You know, I so, can read this. Um, mm. If you still believe the myth that fluoride is good for your children and your teeth, think again. There are a vast number of scientific research studies confirming the opposite. That fluoride is a toxin that is extremely detrimental to your body, your brain, and even to your teeth. One of the most active research areas today is fluoride's ability to damage your brain. Recent human studies from China have confirmed the results of previous animal studies. That elevated fluoride exposure led to reduced IQ in children. Mm. Cognitive ability is further reduced if your children is deficient is in Audi. Mm. And with the crops we we eat today, that, that is true of but, many people. But I, I don't think there is any alternative about this because um I check it in the supermarket mm. and every brand got a fluoride component. Well, you can, you can. Go to the next thing. You can. Um, yeah, and this fluoride going on again, it will affect your uh, hippocampus, mm. which is your memory. Yeah. It will affect your... Pukunji cells, they're Pukunji. in the cerebellum, which is the, the base of the brain kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's yeah. your motor function, it, yeah. your movements, it affects yeah. your movements. And it also causes these beta amyloid plaques. Yeah. I've got some pictures of that coming up, which, which could cause Alzheimer's disease. Mm. And your Alzheimer's pineal Alzheimer's gland, pineal gland, which is your, like your third eye, mm. your connection to, you know, to intuition, really. Yeah. It's your intuitive gland. Yeah. So. yeah. But, um, let me send, send, spend some time to read the, the whole mm. uh, thing. For, uh, prior to this, more than 30 animal studies produced since 1992 have reported impairment in learning and memory processes among animals treated with fora, <laughs> even at levels as low as 1 ppm per per median. Studies have demonstrated direct toxin effects on brain tissue, including reduction in lipid content, Impaired antioxidant defense systems, damage to your hippocampus, campus, damage to your Perkin, 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 G. Perkin G cells, increased uptake of aluminium, formation of beta amyloid plaques, the classic brain abnormality in Alzheimer's al Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease. Low yang low yang Accumulation of fluoride in your Pinot gland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is sodium fluoride. Yep. And the other uses. <laughs> the other uses. Rat and cockroach poisons. Anesthetics. Hypno hypno hypnotics. And even in the... Um... Military nerve gas, sarin. No, this, this um, defeats me. So yep. 
let's, let's leave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Methyl phosphonyl dichloride, <laughs> hydrogen fluoride, and so sodium fluoride. Yeah. yeah. If it's difficult to me to say, there must be something wrong with it. You sure. <laughs> right. you know, that's, that's <laughs> rule of thumb, as we call. Really. <laughs> you know, honestly. So if, if the word is that. No, uh, next, could go through Alzheimer's disease here, really. So you can see, disease. here's a, here's a healthy neuron, a synapse. It's very really nice and functional. This is in our, in our brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then so when we think and the, this will switch on, yep. and then we'll connect to other yep. things. and all the the messages and the the, the, the problem is that when you got this disease, when it switch on, it will not transfer mm. the, the message to. Well, look what happens when you put fluoride in, yeah. into the mix. Yeah. Look what happens when you put. This is it. Oh. The, the fluoride comes right, so it, it, oh. it blocks all these connections, all the synapses, yeah. and then the, the, these tangles form, and then then the nutrients can't arrive, yeah. and they actually just die off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the brain just disappears. So, so horrible. So ho horrible. Yeah. horrible. So this is what happens in Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. So this is um, this is the progression, you know. Yeah. It kind of starts off here, and you get the progression of it, but then that's what happens. I see. The brain just I disappears, see, I see, really. I see, I see. What, um, the, 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 is there a demonstration that, um, after you take in so many fluoride and these chemicals, mm -hmm. that you, when they, when they dissect your brain, they will find this? They would eventually, you know, that takes about, you see, that takes about 20 years. Okay. The thing is, consistent intake of mm -hmm. that kind of chemical. See, these, these, these poisons are called insidious. Yeah. I mean, the blackboard around there. Yeah. But INS, I D D I O U S insidious, which means it's a slow and secretive effect. In Cantonese, it is sim yi makfa. Sim yi makfa. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I raise my vocabulary. <laughs> prevention. Yeah, prevention. So what can we do? So I have this kind of um, the, the 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 filter I showed you, but even that doesn't get rid of the fluoride. Mm. The fluoride is the the molecules are too small for the for that kind of filter. So you need something called a reverse osmosis filter. It's getting more expensive to live because that's $3,000. Yeah. And you can use non-fluoride toothpaste. You can find it, Eddie, not in the supermarkets. That's true. You can find it. If you can't find it in the supermarket, then where can you buy them? But you have to be careful. Um, you can find um, I can get this one in the New Zealand shop, this Propolis one mm. in the New Zealand shop. Yeah. Uh, or you can get it in, in um, some department stores. You know? Yeah. And um, there's another one. I can't really got it. A friend of mine bought me this one, which is <laughs> Gate. But these, these also, because another thing is you have to be careful. You can find non-sodium fluoride, but then you find this other chemical. It's called sodium laurel yeah. sulfate, yeah. which is almost as bad as um, yeah. as sodium fluoride. Yeah. But you've got to look at the labels very closely. Yeah. And this one actually actually states sodium laurel sulfate free. No, uh, there's one very interesting question. If there's some people who are um, right, who who are very conscious about their health, mm. it means that there is a demand for this. The, 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 there are, I'm sure there's some people if watch. There, if if there is a demand, mm. why? Doesn't the supermarket allow that to be bought in there? Well, one thing is there's not enough of a demand, I think. Mm. And the other thing is, well, maybe there's some kind of conspiracy, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> really, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because why, you know? And, and when it comes to the children's toothpaste, yeah. they don't just put sodium fluoride, they put acetifolame, aspartame, they put the whole range of poisons. Now, some of the, uh, the viewers may be very skeptical about, about what we are talking about, but mm. Just one hint, if you look into the, the label, there will be a cautionary advice. That's right, yeah. To tell you that the children should not eat this. Don't swallow, swallow it, it. Yeah, just yeah. put a <laughs> tiny bit. Which means yeah. that there is something wrong about it. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got to be a bit suspicious, haven't you, really, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you should be skeptical. Yeah. And skeptical is healthy, you know? Yeah. So, Alternative. So, so we can, yeah, we can, we can use these, but you've got to look carefully at the label. Make sure they're also non-SLS as well, as well as non-fluoride. But you can use this. This is difficult to find. It's neem stem they use in India. A piece of, a piece of branch from a tree, which is the neem oh, tree. Oh, that is very uh, uh, too difficult to find. But the next one. I mean, well, I talk about this mm. because in in ancient China, mm. when uh, there were there was no toothpaste, mm. they 
use the same thing to 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 clean their teeth. Mm. Yeah. And if you it's look at it, 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 it it's China. actually more effective. Yeah, you know, antiseptic, antibiotic prevents gum diseases, cavities, and oral odor. Yeah, I read the, the, the remaining sign. To reap the maximum benefits of neem brick, a small branch of the plant, size of a toothbrush. Break the tough edges of one side of the stick and then brush your teeth with it. It's a pity that you gotta, don't have a picture here. <laughs> no, sorry, no. But salt. Now, I've been experimenting just using salt. I've been using this stuff, but I spent a couple of weeks, and it's really effective. Mm. How do you do it? You just, you just you, um, dab your toothpaste in the salt and brush. Okay. So simple. So I read the whole um, uh, thing. Alternative to toothpaste, toothpaste salt. Salt is another great natural ingredient for the teeth. It is rich in sodium. This not only cleanses off all dirt from the teeth, but also makes the gums healthier. And if you have a toothache, it is even good for that. If you brush your teeth with salt, then it will rip you off all the bad smells of your mouth too. Just take a teaspoon of salt and gently brush your teeth and gums with it. Mm. And I found it really effective. Mm. Salt and must, must, must oil. mustard oil. oil. Mm -hmm. Salt and mustard oil, must, mustard oil is one of the greatest combinations for whitening your teeth. This is also one of the most awesome natural ways for teeth to be in good condition. Take half a teaspoon of mustard oil and a pinch of salt in a small bowl. Mix them well and then use it to gently brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Alternative, lemon. Lemon is a rich source of vitamin C that happens to be excellent for health, teeth, and gums. It is also a very good natural ingredient for the teeth. It has a natural cleansing properties mm -hmm. that makes the teeth very clean and healthy. Take a tablespoon of lemon juice and massage your teeth and gums with it. Your mouth will feel fresh after this. Really does, yeah. 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 Simple. Oh, simple, uh, lemon. Simple lemon. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Cloves. <laughs> Cloves are using are used in many dental medicines as a painkiller. Clove oil is also used for oral treatments. Take some clove powder and brush your teeth gently with it. This is great for natural teeth whitening. And if your teeth are so sen are too sensitive, or if you have any toothache, then it is good for those reasons too. I have some here, Eddie. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good. Mm, very close. Very good. Let me put a bit on the lid. You can see it. Yeah. yeah. And if you just rub some of this yeah. on your teeth, if you have got a toothache, mm. the pain goes away. No, really? need, no need for the no need for the aspirin or, or panadol or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Again, you can buy it um, in the local. Yeah, you can just buy it any, any any supermarket really. Yeah. You know, I get this from city. But because people use it usually use it for for cooking. Yeah. For cooking. Yeah. It's very powerful uh, spice, so you need a bit for cooking. Right? Yeah. 梁锦祥工作室喺呢一个网络言论自由被打压嘅年代，我哋依然坚持自我，做好节目，坚拒自我审查，因为我哋相信内容有价，而你哋嘅支持就至关重要。请大家订阅梁锦祥工作室 Patreon， 并立刻成为付费会员，守护自由言论。而我哋喺 YouTube 频道上面嘅每一节节目，都要麻烦大家记得按赞、分享、留言同埋揿钟仔啊！感谢大家一直支持梁锦祥工作室节目。